Okay, look, so I never thought I'd have to make this video, but these days I think the speed flip is an essential mechanic. When I made my first speed flip tutorial almost two years ago now, it was more of a nice to have, but what I've noticed from my Road to SSL series is people even down in Champ and Diamond are speed flipping consistently. And quite frankly, if you don't know how to speed flip, you are going to be at a disadvantage. So in this video, I'm gonna be going over my three simple steps to learn how to speed flip consistently along with the three most common mistakes I see that hold people back and how to do them from every kickoff spawn. So whether you're completely new to the speed flip or you can do it, but just not consistently, this video is for you. Let's talk about speed flips. Also, if you're new here watching this tutorial and didn't catch it, I just announced I'm officially partnering with Apparently Jack to start coaching. For those of you who don't know, I run the Grand Champ Roadmap, which is Rocket League's largest live coaching program that specializes in taking players like you from plat through champ up to Grand Champ or even SSL in just six weeks or less. At the time I'm dropping this, we just crossed 1,700 players in the program, and I'm looking for 10 more to join this week. So if that's you and you want to grab that GC or SSL title, DM me on Discord with the keyword speed, and we can talk details about coaching. Links down below. Otherwise, enjoy the video. Okay, so step number one for learning how to speed flip is understanding a flip cancel. Basically, what a flip cancel is, is it's just an animation cancel of a normal flip. So, for example, if you're flipping forward to flip cancel and stop the animation midway through, you're simply going to pull down and hold on your joystick. Now, there are such things as partial flip cancels versus full flip cancels based on how long you hold your joystick down. But for the purposes of speed flips, we're just going to use a full flip cancel. If you haven't yet, load up free play and practice simply flipping forwards around the map and pulling down on your joystick. That way your car stalls about halfway through and lands on its hood. This shouldn't take long, but once you can get this down, you'll get a sense of how quickly you need to be able to pull down on your joystick. Once you understand the flip cancel, we have to incorporate the diagonal component of the speed flip. If you didn't know, a speed flip is actually a diagonal flip cancel. It's a very precise one, so I'll walk you through the exact angle you want to push your joystick, but at its core, understand that. It's literally just a diagonal flip cancel. The next thing you're going to want to do is push your joystick just slightly off center, about 15 to 30 degrees off of true north. For example, if we're speed flipping left, that's going to be slightly up and to the left. And of course, if it's speed flipping right, that means just slightly up and to the right. Before we get any further, I want to stress this is mistake number one, and this is where most people already go wrong with their speed flips. For whatever reason, a lot of people think you need to push your joystick really far off to the left or to the right. But like I said, you can't flip cancel a barrel roll. So if you flip too far to the left or too far to the right, the game's just going to think it's a barrel roll and then it won't let you flip cancel. Mistake number two, and I guess I'll just cover it right here, is flip canceling the wrong way. After you do this flip, the final step of the speed flip is you want to flip cancel down and in the same direction you did your initial flip. So for example, if you're speed flipping to the left, you want to push slightly up into the left and then slightly down into the left when you cancel. This is going to make sure your car does a smooth spin as opposed to sort of nose diving into the ground and doing like this reverse half flip motion. So that's sort of step number two and mistake number two. Make sure your flip cancel matches the direction of your speed flip and doesn't go the other way. Finally, the last and easiest to fix mistake of all of these is not holding the flip cancel long enough. Going back to the idea of partial flip cancels versus full flip cancels, a speed flip has to be a full cancel because if you don't hold it down fully, your car won't return to the kind of neutral position that it started in. Now, at the very high levels, you can actually use this to your advantage. Like you can do a sort of speed flip partial where you let go of the joystick just a little bit early and that'll make it so that way your car lands in this like upwards facing direction and you can use it to like carry an air dribble or things like that midair. Wait and popularized this with a video about a year ago. I think it's called the twist flip, but for the purposes of this one, once again, do a full flip cancel, same direction as you want the speed flip to go. 
And okay, from there, you basically have the speed flip down. The only last thing to do is to hold directional air roll in whatever way you speed flip. So if you speed flip left, you might have to adjust and air roll left just a little bit at the end. Or if you speed flip right, you might have to adjust and air roll right. But apart from that, those are pretty much the only errors that I can think of when it comes to the speed flip. Actually, there's one more. The last error that you could have, if you're just speed flipping up into the left and you're not canceling quick enough, you can speed flip, but it'll be a little bit of a slower speed flip and you won't be able to pass any of the kickoff tests or any of the training packs. I'll have a couple of mine linked on screen. I know I have a speed flip catch training pack and there's like Musty's standard speed flip test. If you can do a speed flip in free play, but you can't do them here, it's probably just because you're not canceling quick enough if your speed flip looks good. Otherwise though, if you notice something is actually wrong with the speed flip, then go back to one of those three mistakes. It's likely the initial direction you flipped, the direction you tried to cancel, or how long you held that cancel. Now, with that being said, there is one other thing that I've seen some YouTubers teach, this sort of like drag method. So basically after you cancel, some YouTubers will say you should drag the joystick across to the other side of the controller. If that works for you, great, but from my experience, I think that's mostly just fluff. That actually doesn't change the flip cancel or how the game picks up the speed flip. All it does is make sure that you hold down your joystick long enough to get the full flip. So you can do that if it helps you hold down the joystick and make sure you don't let off too quick. Otherwise, you don't need to do that. It's purely preference. But yeah, that covers it for how to speed flip. If you're still having issues and you have questions, definitely go check out my free training discord. There are tons of people. You can submit a clip and I'm sure somebody will get back to you on what's wrong with your speed flip if that's you. Plus, it's completely free to join and you can always leave whenever you want. If you're new here, take a look at some of my other videos for more info. And apart from that, that's all I've got. So <laughs> thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace, guys.